Hey guys, I'm Market Extreme and we are back with another Flesh Eaters. Um, this is another update video, uh, really really short, really really quick because they've only added three things. Well, they've added a lot more than three things but it's categorised into three sections. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, as always I'm going to be checking out these new features in the test lab. I love this place, I love this area, I could spend hours here. Um, right, so first things first. There was a non-response bug where the game just stopped responding, wouldn't do anything, so um, that's been fixed. I have had that happen to me a couple of times. It's a pain, generally involved me exiting the entire game, uh, but now no longer. And I hope you just saw what else they've added. Is these dudes can move diagonally now. Movement has been increased to eight directions rather than just four, which makes walking. There, which makes walking around this thing a hell of a lot better and finally which I will go into a little bit of detail on uh, I'm not gonna have a one minute video <laughs> is they've added tooltips for all of the um, weapons and all the doohickeys that you can do so this box that we are wondering about now adds a chance to stun enemies that's on all of them and there's also a chance to inflict poison on the later ones which is cool uh, the top is a scope or a bonus to accuracy like we thought that's a critical chance bonus. That adds piercing. Uh, I think that's just a kickstand, but that adds piercing. This top thing increases the fire rate. So I'm guessing that must have been like some kind of barrel attachment in some site, in some way. Uh, bonus to critical chance, critical damage, and again adds piercing. These, these helmets do slightly different things. Um, this one has more armor, more armor HP, and immunity to buffs, so infection and all that jazz. So that would generally be the best one. And uh, bonus to accuracy and to critical chance. So now this is just that was just the soldier. Uh, I'll grab the medic and see what he's doing. So we've got bleeds and poisons and stuff. And this increases the heal or a range. I'm not sure what it is, but it increases the range, which is all good. Um, I've also been informed that although you don't need, although you don't need the antibiotics. To create the med kit, they are still used in. They are still used to heal with the med kit, so you're going to need them. You're still going to need quite a lot of them to keep everybody healed up and good to go. Now, finally, we're going to quickly check out the engineer and see what he can do. All right, so we've got all the hazard protection stuff. So a flashlight on the map, awesome. So that adds a flashlight. That's all he gets. Uh, it's just a flashlight. Poor guy. <laughs> Everyone else gets souped up gear. Dude gets a flashlight. But yeah, so that's the that's the latest um, stuff that they've added. So yeah, guys. Uh, hopefully, I can do a more in-depth video next time. Uh, but thanks for joining me this time around. Next time, they should be adding things like the story, having a full game engine, and a bunch more tweaks and changes and stuff like that. So that should be fun. Uh, also, one thing I want to ask of you guys, please check out their latest game, it needs to be greenlit on Steam, I'll put a link in the description, it's called Kivi Toilet and Shotgun. Reminds me a lot of Mad Max, it's a top down racer, uh, upgrades, shooting guys, it's a lot of fun, it looks quite cool. Um, hopefully if we can get that greenlit, I can start checking that, checking that out as well for you, and um, see what happens. But yeah, thanks again guys, I really appreciate you, you checking out these videos. If you could hit like, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. Let me know what you like or don't like, and I will see you for the next video. Alright, take it easy guys. Bye.